Good morning, and welcome to Morning Psalms and Prayers. Today is Monday, June 29th. Today we are going to begin again with a prayer from Hughes Olivent Old, a prayer for illumination as we prepare to read God's holy word. Let us pray. Blessed you are, Lord, great God, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your commandments are our delight, and your grace is our greatest joy. Fill us with that glad light, that warm flame and peaceful glow. Your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Counselor Christ has sent us. Lead us in the path of your commandments, in the ancient way of your will. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. All right, we are continuing through the Psalter. We are on Psalm 20 today. Hear the word of the Lord. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. As we come to this psalm, I think it's one that we know. Uh, maybe it's just from the fact that it's in the front part of the Psalter, and if we committed to reading through the Psalms, uh, maybe we got to verse 20, but I think it's more about verse 7. Uh, it's not as well known as, say, Psalm 23 or Psalm 8 or some of the phrases that we know from Psalm 119, but this, what we see in verse 7 is rather well known. But first, I want to take a quick look at verse 6 that, verse six that sets up verse 7. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. That's an important thing for us to look at. What is David saying? David, David is saying that, hey, I was in the midst of trouble. The king of God, his anointed, was under attack. But what happened? He trusted in God and he was spared. Well, why would God do that? Why would God save his anointed? Well, David, as we will see as we continue through scripture, is, is the one through whom the Christ would come, there were, uh, that, that the promise of the salvation of the Messiah would come. And so it's important for us to understand this. We know that the Lord saves his anointed because God keeps his promises. He answers from heaven. He saves him with his mighty right hand. And that was more than just about the battle. It was about preserving the king. It was about preserving the line of David. And we see this in some stories as we look through the Old Testament. There's one point in the Old Testament where the Davidic line is down to one. Down to one because someone tried to come in and overthrow the plan of God. But God spared one of David's descendants because that was where the promise was. God saves his anointed because he wants to save his people. He brings salvation to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. And that promise was fulfilled through everything that we see in the Old Testament. And so as we come to thinking about God saving his people, about God bringing salvation to us, that's where verse 7 really can hit home for us. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. If he saves his anointed, if he preserves a people for himself, if he brings salvation to his people, then we can trust in him. And so should we trust in chariots or horses? Should we trust in military force? Should we trust in might? Or should we trust in the name of the Lord our God? Should we trust in the salvation that that brings? Because remember what we read in Philippians, there's no other name under heaven which, what, by which men can be saved. We need to trust in that, not in, not in money, not in force, not in anything that is of this earth. We said we need to trust in the name of the one who rescues his people. And that is God in Christ reconciling his people to save them from sin, death, and hell. And that is so important for us to remember that we need to trust not in these earthly things, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And so may we, as the people of God, show this to the world. 
When things are happening around us, whether in the world or in our personal lives, let's trust that God has saved us and so we can have confidence in our lives. We can trust in him. Let's put our trust in him today. Let's stand strong in the truth that our God saves his people. And because we are in Christ, we know that we are one of those people. Let us go to prayer. Father in heaven, we come to you this morning and trust in you because we know that you answer your people in our day of trouble. We shout for joy in your salvation. We bring our petitions to you because we know that you hear the prayers of your people. And today we give you thanks for all the provisions you have provided for us. You have blessed us in so many different ways. You provide shelter for us and we have food to eat. We have families that love us and too many other blessings to name. Grant that we would see these many blessings that are provided by your gracious hand as gifts from you. And may we not take them for granted. Bless us with a spirit of thankfulness for all that you have provided for us. And as we begin this day, we pray that we would not trust in chariots or horses or any other earthly power. We trust in the name of the Lord our God and know that you have, have saved your people by your mighty hand. We pray that you would embolden us today to share the good news and live a life of gratitude for who you are and what you have done for us in Jesus Christ. It is in his name that we pray. Amen. Okay. Have yourself a very, very good Monday. Take care.